Hello, in this video we'll be looking at DNA predicted phenotype, predicted traits and GD match results of a Neanderthal woman from Les Cotes in France. Uh, this Neanderthal woman lived in the late middle Paleolithic and let's get into the video. This is her predicted phenotype with my Nashakot tool and with YSEC. Uh, Nashakot is predicting her to have snub shaped nose, uh, black hair and brown eyes and YSEC is actually making her uh, not only have black hair and brown eyes but also brown very dark skin. Um, so what's interesting about this file is she did not have the Eurasian Ketoji mutation for light skin, so she probably did have indeed very dark skin. She also did not have uh, the Eurasian SLC45A2 mutation for light skin, so probably uh, probably had dark skin indeed. And uh, with Snipper Free, she's predicted to have brown eyes and black hair. She wasn't genotyped for most of the like super important uh, variants that I look for uh, in my videos, but she was genotyped for this variant in DRD2, which is kind of interesting. She's had uh, she has uh, TT here, which nowadays is most common in Amerindians and East Asians, and this genotype has to do with being prone to higher nicotine dependence and being more impulsive and sensation seeking. When it comes to polygenic illnesses and traits, she had an average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, she had an average risk score for Parkinson's disease. Um, she had a slightly below average risk score for type 1 diabetes, maybe bottom 30th percentile. And she had a very low risk score for bipolar disorder, like bottom 0 percentile. And she had a pretty average risk score for asthma. This is what she scores with MDLPK23B. Now, this is a very typical result for a Neanderthal, mostly scoring archaic human and archaic African. I think the archaic human is a much more deeper population because chimps, gorillas, and orangutans tend to score it. And this is her score with MDLP World Ancient Roots K10 from Admixture Studio. Once again, she she's scoring 86.8% .8 archaic men, which is actually uh, quite high for a Neanderthal. This is higher than what the uh, Vendija Cave Neanderthal was scoring. Now, for comparison, this is what a gorilla, not a human, a gorilla scores with MDLPK23B. And as you can see, the gorilla is scoring mostly archaic human and a very little archaic African. So this is the difference between Neanderthal and gorilla. Uh, both the Neanderthal and the gorilla and the chimp and the orangutan score mostly archaic human. However, the Neanderthal also scores a little bit of archaic African. And this is what makes Neanderthal different from all these monkeys, right? So this is the archaic African is the uniquely Neanderthal category here. And uh, this is what she scores with Eurogenes K13. Once again, overwhelmingly, Sub-Saharan African results. There is almost there is almost nothing non-African here, actually. It's just Sub-Saharan and Northeast African that's in the result. And with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Biaka Pygmy plus Papuan or Melanesian. Uh, but the Papuan, there is very little. Basically, it's an overwhelmingly Sub-Saharan African result, most similar to all kinds of Pygmies and Bantus. And this is what she scores with Eurogenes K36. Now you can see the dominant component here is Pygmy. As you might have figured out at this point, uh, if you watched any of my previous videos, Pygmies are the most similar population, uh, not only to Neanderthals, but also to gorillas, chimps, orangutans, and the rest. Uh, this is what she scores with uh, if you helix K10. You can see she's scoring mostly Hoisan, which is a typical result for a Neanderthal. The Vindija cave Neanderthal was also scoring mostly Hoisan here. Uh, and with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Kung, which is South African hunter-gatherer plus Pygmy or a mixture of Kung plus um, Mbuti Pygmy, which is uh, maybe a slightly different. Ba basically, out of modern humans, she's resembling the most a mixture of South African hunter-gatherers plus something from Central Africa. This is what she scores with Gidrosia K3. Uh, overwhelmingly Sub-Saharan African in the result, which is no surprise. Uh, all the Neanderthals, the Nisovans, and the rest score mostly Sub-Saharan African here. And this is what she scores with the MZLP K11. Once again, mostly Sub-Saharan African in the result, mostly African result, which is typical for Neanderthals. And with the Oracle for this calculator, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Neanderthal plus, plus Gravetian. Uh, Gravetian is like proto-Western hunter-gatherer kind of a genome. Uh, so she's got a little bit of a shift towards uh, modern, more modern people in Europe. And uh, in terms of comparing this genome to various like non-human exotic populations, she's most similar to Vindija Neanderthal, uh, followed by KD the gorilla, followed by Clint chimpanzee, and lastly she's least similar to Kiki orangutan, and, sh and she's least asimilar, which is actually a better metric for uh, determining a relation to all these uh, various non-human ethnicities. She's uh, closest to Vindija Neanderthal, followed by KD the gorilla, followed by Clint the chimp, followed by the orangutan, the same order. As so um, if you enjoyed the video, if you think you learned something new, if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube, leave a like and subscribe. And also you can download this sample in 23andMe format from, from link which is in the description.